Hello, you guys. Kicking this off, not ready whatsoever for today. Happy New Year, if you have not already heard it from me. I know I did a big reset video about a week ago, and this is kind of gonna be, it's just a week in my life vlog, but it's like very 2024 goals focused. So it's like building upon the last video. Even if you didn't see it, I'm gonna be walking you through all of my goals and just routine lifestyle habits I'm adding in this year. And just talking you through basically all of those goals, but in like real life application. So I think it's gonna be fun. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments, one of your resolutions. And then maybe when I follow this up with another check-in or February reset or whatever, you guys can check in with yourself as well and we can all update each other so this video is also kind of an experiment for me of like just a longer vlog I feel like I've always been hesitant to kind of put out these really long vlogs just because it's something that I don't typically post mine are typically shorter just testing something out let me know what you guys think um, but right now I've got my little workout fit on. I'm heading out with Giselle to go play some tennis. The first half of today has been, and yesterday, just like kind of like, you know, some old ways of things where like I get up and I go straight to work because things needed to get done. I've been slowly implementing like different areas of my new goals and everything, mostly as they pertain to like, I mean, I guess like fitness, um, nutrition stuff, but then just like my night routine lifestyle goals I've been like getting better at. But the morning routine is just like, you know, we haven't gotten there yet. So tomorrow's gonna be the day for my like full hit the ground running, like, you know, knock out all of my goals. But I don't think it's a bad thing to just like ease in as well. I'm both excited and disappointed that I'm now always gonna be wearing my Apple Watch again <laughs> because I want the data. I love the data. Like this really does help keep me more active and like on track and whatnot. But it is just so darn ugly. So, you know, apologies. I don't like looking at it either. <laughs> I'll read everything today. kitchen so I don't know if you can see this clearly I'll show in a second we moved our little coffee stuff that used to be over on the end of the counter like near the fridge into this corner and I think it looks so much better this corner was always just so awkward with like what do we put in it you'll probably hear Mia playing a goal we're not checking off today that we will do tomorrow is my getting ready everyday goal. It's just like already like 3 p.m. And so I'm just not gonna put on makeup right now. A goal we are keeping up with at this moment, kind of indirectly because one of mine was to eat, yeah, was to eat breakfast every day. If you missed it, I have just like gotten out of the habit of that. Like I now just don't get hungry until like later on into the day. So with that, I've been eating mainly like two big meals a day instead of like a proper breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And so this year, I wanna get back on my three meals a day. I want to be hungry in the morning again. Like my metabolism was better when that was the case. So right now, even though I'm not starving um, and it is like late, later than I normally eat lunch, I'm gonna have Mia. I'm making like a light snacky protein smoothie just to follow up from my workout. And then also, is that mold? I can't tell if these are both expired or if they're supposed to have little dark spots in it. Sketch out. Basically, I'm having a little snacky smoothie right now so I can check off my collagen supplement of the day. My go to smoothie is bananas, date. Actually, I guess I don't even put that in there. Some cashews, a little sea salt, cinnamon, chia seeds, some oats in it if you want some extra fiber, and then just like a milk of your choice. Fast forward to dinner time. Also sometime this week, my like organization task of the week is going to be taking down all the Christmas decor. Also a little shout out to all of, oh, we have a puppy walking in. Hi, Mia. Quick shout out to everyone in my life that got me glassware for Christmas this year. These are like two of four sets that I got from just different people and I'm so excited. It makes me wanna host a dinner party for like every single one. But what I'm making for dinner is just a little salmon and Brussels sprouts and rice bowl. This recipe is gonna be in my upcoming week of dinner ideas video. So stay tuned for that. Do you need to go potty?
At the moment, I'm doing my like 30 minutes of tidying up around the house. That is part of my night routine. I'm kind of right now starting to um, just begin my like night routine sequence of events. I should have waited to start the dishwasher. I'm realizing now, but you guys, I had to share this because I can't figure out like if I'm getting punked. Like I feel like a lot of us have seen that TikTok trend where you send a Christmas present to your parents, like a gift card and card from like a fake couple that they don't know just to drive them crazy. I don't think that's what this is, but this is just like not that far off. So we got a card in the mail that I opened, not even realizing that it was addressed to somebody else. It starts out weird because it's addressed to a couple that happens to be like two adults I know, but then it gets weirder because then there's a three page letter, which I've realized from living in the suburbs. People, which makes sense because they don't have social media. A lot of our neighbors send just like autobiographies of the year, literally just like this, pages and pages printed out of like their year updates, which I'm here for. I'm like, give me the tea of your year because I have no way of stalking you and knowing anything about you. But I've received one of these as part of this, but the names of who it's to and from don't match the names of the card that this was in. So are these nicknames? I'm confused, but it's like a three page letter. This person is spilling tea about their workplace and going on about like the woman at the cursed desk is still there. I hope she stays. Someone's bitter. Giselle and I were cracking up reading this. I mean, it's getting tossed now, but just like how bizarre. Yeah, you think you're playing this again. Still need to shower for the day, but I am going through my habit tracker to update this for the day. It's been one of those days that like this evening has just flown by. Cause so we had to watch the challenge tonight. Our like <laughs> we're diehard fans of the challenge on MTV. If any of you guys watch that. Cara Maria returned tonight. It's a big deal. Very niche. Hey, niche uh, interest in there. So for today, we definitely ate balanced. I just do a breeze through of this like at the end of the day. Um, no fast food, no post mating. I think I drank five water today. It was four or five. I kind of lost count at one point. We're going to give me that and tomorrow I'm going to be sure. Um, I had my collagen today. Didn't drink. I would say my moods today and kind of like how I've been feeling all week. is just like, just like a peaceful energy. I don't know. Like I feel like happy and positive. Mia's getting into the shoes. No, she's getting to the plant. Anyone with pets, how do you get your pets to stop biting the leaves of your plants? <laughs> like she leaves everything alone except for that. Anyways, I'm going to say for today, I'm going to say peaceful, happy, I guess. I'm going to say happy for today. I felt good today. We did get our workout in. We did about a little over an hour of tennis. I think today may be the first day I actually hit my step count. Oh yeah, I did. I want to hit 7,000 steps today. So today I'm at 7,586. And then tomorrow is the day that I'm kicking my like morning routine habits into high gear. I did not get up without scrolling today. I did make the bed. I did get outside, did my morning skincare, maybe not as elaboratively as I would like, but you know, we're getting Getting there. I had breakfast, no coffee before breakfast, didn't get ready for the day, clearly. Um, and then for tonight, I had like a 15 minute cleanup, so I'm not gonna give myself credit for this because I definitely didn't do as much as I could have. I'm about to go do these things in bed, but I did have my two hour unwind. It wasn't a creative unwind. We've yet to do any of those yet this week, which like instead of just watching TV or whatever, I'm like doing something that's like fun and restful still. So I'm gonna go to my evening skincare as well. And then cut myself off at 15 minutes of scrolling on TikTok. I guess I'm literally gonna like set a timer. And then I didn't post anything today. I need to start thinking about that tomorrow. It was like, what are my posts going to be all week? But I did um, talk to or reply to a bunch of comments today. And then I didn't do anything with friends or anyone tonight either. This section is going to be like rarely checked in on, I guess. Just like only when I'm like finishing something on my like monthly house um, tasks or whatever. I mean, as we look at this whole column, I'm pretty proud of that for like this being still only like a, you know, half my day was committed to this, I feel like. And I haven't even filled these in yet. So all of these will be checked here in a little bit. So yeah, tomorrow I aim to get everything done on this list. It would be great if I could get over this like sickness thing. Why are you just sitting there? Oh, she's being weird. You are being so weird, Mia. That is it for tonight. Good night.
Good morning, you guys. It's the morning, so my voice has got to loosen up a little bit. So it is the first full day of doing all my resolutions, and I think I need to reevaluate if one of these is actually realistic. And I think it's important, it's a good thing, you know, to keep an open mind with like these goals and stuff you're trying to implement, not in like a quitter way. Like really you have to be the one that has that discretion of like, are you taking the easy way out on this goal by like changing it? Or is this just like actually not, you know, something that's really gonna work for your life. And so that one is waking up without scrolling. Coming to you live from 10 a.m. because my alarm at eight, I fell back asleep after because I was consciously like my alarm went off. I turned it off and I was like, don't scroll. Like, don't just get on your phone and open your inbox and open TikTok and whatever. That is what like helps wake me up is just like being able to like mindlessly get on something and like wake my mind up in that way. The issue and what I was trying to fix by making it a goal to not scroll and get on my phone in the morning, just like it's straight out of bed. I was trying to avoid my, how I get sucked into scrolling for a really long time. But this morning in trying to just like motivate myself to wake up and get out of bed, I fell back asleep until now, okay? So I'm like, okay, is this, and even then when I finally was like, I have to get up, I finally just like got on my phone to like scroll for a second to like wake up my brain. So I'm thinking maybe this needs to be tweaked to where in the mornings I actually just kind of like at night cap it to like 15 minutes in bed and then I get up. Again, what I'm trying to fix is like this delaying my day and like getting sucked into, you know, scrolling. It's gonna be tweaked from here forward to be 15 minutes. That way I can actually get out of bed on time because what did I really solve here when now it's like way past when I wanted to wake up. So I'm gonna kick it into the rest of my morning routine. with the latest start to the work day ever. My like ideal morning would be, as I talked about in my reset video, to get my workout in in the morning if it's like an independent workout. Like if I'm doing an at-home workout, I know that I need to knock it out first thing in the morning, but since I had a late start to this morning, I think I'm actually gonna play tennis again with Giselle, which we've been doing like later in the day, so that works out fine. Like when it's with somebody else or like hypothetically, maybe if I was going to a workout class, I think it's like not really a, a big deal for me to do that later in the day because I do have like that accountability with someone else. How cute are these green glass straws I also got for Christmas? These are from Giselle's sister. Her whole family, cause I spent Christmas with them, were so generous and got me so much stuff. Um, but she got me these straws, some cool glasses, as well as these like, just like clear glass, like curly straws, which were cool. Today, I clearly need to clean out my office. I just opened up just my Fabletics picks for the month of January. I'll show you some. Well, there's like six outfits. So I'm not gonna go through all of them. I think here today, after I get ready, I am going to probably try to tie in taking my Fabletics Instagram content for the month at the tennis court while I'm there. This is just one of the outfits that I think just has like a cute little logo branding. This is, or this is the leggings. They have like that matching little logo detail and then like a stripe down the side. And then my favorite I think for the month is this like onyx outfit. So it's a dark gray, it's not like completely black. It's just this like unlined little sports bra, probably like a low impact thing. Leggings in the same color. I have a lamp on right now that's kind of throwing um, these colors off, but it's just like a really pretty gray and then a puffer vest that I feel like I probably should have sized down on maybe. It looks a little oversized. You guys know I love my Fabletics, so as usual, all of my workout outfits are from there. This video is not sponsored. Since my like last renewal with them, I am only posting on Instagram for them, so like nothing, no mentions on YouTube, at least like until I say otherwise or like ever sponsored. I just obviously love them. So the plan for the morning is to enjoy my coffee, um, edit a little bit, get a handle on just my to-do list for the day, and then go get ready and get that stuff shot. Little 2 p.m. check-in as we're 
are heading out to tennis. I'm so behind on my water intake for today. My goal is to drink five of these a day. I've had one so far. And it got me thinking, because a couple of days ago, I didn't make coffee all day. And I noticed by like afternoon, I had gone through like two or three of these. So I think like, it's just something to think about. Like maybe do I want to delay my coffee like even longer after breakfast, just in an effort to drink more water. Cause I definitely just, I'm not really thirsty when I drink it. I don't know. But anyways, I got my athletic stories shot. When I get back after tennis, I need to edit and send that over. Tennis picked up um, some groceries as well as well, some flowers. This isn't my best work. So dinner is served. Giselle made tonight's delicious dinner, which is this little pesto chicken and a caprese salad. And we're gonna watch the Hunger Games. We've been on a Hunger Games kick. Hello you guys and happy Saturday. So I kind of skipped vlogging yesterday. Yesterday was my rest day with working out, but then today I just did 12, 3.30 on the treadmill. And I was actually looking forward to that because I haven't done it in a while. And something that I don't remember if this is called habit um, stacking or I could be totally making that up. But basically I pair a show with doing the treadmill and that is like my treadmill only show. I do not watch it outside of doing the treadmill. For me, that is the season of The Amazing Race. I don't know if the season's actually over or not, but I haven't watched it in like weeks. So I was really looking forward to this and like stayed on even longer than 30 minutes. So that was my workout for today. Today we're having a bit of a productive Saturday. It's been a restful morning and now we are getting into some of the things on my like goals list that kind of I only get to every single month. So in the house category we have our well the things i want to get to each month are a big house like upgrade or just like design project one smaller up like mini life upgrade maybe it's like a small item i'm buying for the house third i want to do a monthly organizational just like you know getting something organized that we always put on the back burner one of those projects a month that is what we are about to get to right now which i'm kind of coupling two tasks because i think they go together pretty efficiently so that is both undecorating the house from the holidays we have not started doing that as well as cleaning out and organizing our garage which houses all of the you know hosting props that you see all the time all of our holiday decor and other than that today I want to I'd really like to go out and do a bunch of returns I've like been just taking advantage of the holiday return period for everything like things dating back to like November just like clothes I ordered for like our New York trip I have not returned those yet because I know I had until the end of January. So Giselle just whipped me up a little strawberry matcha. Oh, bring it over, bring it over. Sometime we should hang the curtains. Should our room of focus this month be the dining room? Oh my gosh. Whipped cream? Yeah. No way. Oh, green everything. We got the green straws again. This is so pretty. Thank you. Off to tackle the garage. I am hoping we can knock this out in like two and a half hours. Do you think that's realistic? Okay. This is the before. I don't want my neighbors to hear me. We never took these guys apart. <laughs> Jump scare. We have just been like ripping one thing out after another. There used to be a system here. Clearly there is not. So many boxes need broken down. And I'm thinking I want to organize it like kind of chronologically throughout the year, if that makes sense. Like we have our Halloween stuff, the things we like, those props and stuff, we can put at the very top, even like above these shelves. But I want it to be like Halloween one section, Christmas one section, outdoor stuff one section, hosting and plates and all that, I think makes sense to be near the door because we're like grabbing that more frequently to bring inside. <laughs> Here is the app. 
after. So there was so much stuff like not on the shelves, just taking up space. Like my car was like, you know, it was a tight fit. This still isn't like pretty to look at just because it's all open shelving, but we have such a system. This section is Christmas decor. I have two bins to go there as well. I'm just finishing um, undecorating inside. But we have some open space here because we're wanting to move some things that we have stored inside out here. So these are like cleaning supplies and just things that we grab to bring inside pretty frequently when we need to refill something. Up here is like outdoor hosting stuff. And then as we come over here, this entire section is Halloween. Needless to say, my favorite holiday, but so much stuff is like fragile that we could either like bubble wrap it all and put it in bins or we could just like leave it out here. So I'm fine with using this space that way. And then over here, this is more just like outdoorsy stuff, you know, yard stuff, painting supplies, things we hardly ever grab are the farthest away. So I am so happy with this. We actually like can use all the stuff that we have in here versus just like not being able to find something and having to repurchase it or just go without. So I'm exhausted, but it's done. All right, you guys, it is now Monday. So this video is spanning through today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do my full check-in on how I did on everything this week. Cleaning out the garage. How long did that take? Oh, Actually, long we were- than I said, Longer than you said it was yesterday. Longer than I said it was, but not as long as I like, as it could have taken. But at the same time, we were exhausted. Like I did full workouts on Saturday. Then just like standing and like hours and hours of cleaning up that day. I got like over 10,000 steps. Right now we're heading out to play tennis. Oh, I guess just one more goal. Whoa, you about jumped out of my arms. <laughs> one goal I think might need a little bit more tweaking because I've noticed this past week I've not been hitting it. Is my just water goal trying to drink five of my water bottles per day. I think it would be realistic for me to set that to four. That's still like way more of an effort than I was making before. Yeah, five. I just feel like I'm not hitting. We need to figure out meal plan for the week. Back to our show. Back to our show. Samantha Joy, she saw the camera and she ran up. <laughs> oh, I'm so, no, I think she saw the paper towel. Oh. Giselle just cooked the most delicious dinner. We went to the store on the way home from tennis. We've been like actually planning out all of our dinners in 2024 and implementing a trade-off system where Monday through Thursday, we each cook two of those nights and we just like discuss what works better for each of us. Um, whoa, earthquake. Whoa. So it's just been really nice having our plan in place. Um, Giselle, what did you make tonight? Chickpea, tofu, sweet potato, brown rice bowls with arugula. Yum. Yummy. And then she just casually whipped up two sauces as well, which are what? A curry tahini sauce. And, and then a- Oh, harissa? Harissa yogurt sauce. Also, this has been our show we've been watching lately. It's just like this like coming of age little series. It's not great, but I've gotten sucked into it. So if you're watching this, let me know. <laughs> Okay guys, I am here with the final review of this week. Let me start my screen recording. I'm pulling up my habit tracker. Wasn't tons of footage of today. I feel like a lot of my days have just been kind of repetitive, especially with my routines and yada yada, but we have made it to the fun part. I already have some things I wanna talk about related to this, but I'll just bring it up as we go through the tracker. So let's remember that the first and second, I was not thinking about this at all and only like half of the third. All the way on the right, this auto adds up how many times the boxes over here have been checked. And I haven't checked all the ones related to my night routine for today, just because I haven't gotten to it yet. Giselle is not home tonight, so I've been on puppy duty by myself typically. Well, I'll say this now, typically when Giselle like goes out with friends and stuff, it's always been my time to do those like creative unwind activities like scrapbooking and you know, this and that fun stuff that like I like to do just by myself. But since having Mia, she just takes so much attention so I'm like just home and I'm like I just want to watch TV and be on the couch But we'll discuss that more in a second. So haven't had any fast food or post this year Um the water I talked about how it was 
kind of difficult to drink like five a day but i guess i drink five on most days and like today i think i was at six maybe that's just something that it's like my thirst just needs to build up to so i'm gonna keep it at five as the goal for january I haven't drank at all for dry january my vitamins game's been lacking i need to just like buy a women's multivitamin that's why that hasn't been checked at all this month my moods overall have been pretty much just a feeling accomplished um, happy a few days of tired and just like peaceful and calm. I would say I haven't felt any like really strong negative emotions this week, which has been great. Like it has just felt really good to be like focusing on this and like actually following through with all these goals for the most part, which like, again, considering this time last year, I was so anxious, like all of the month of January and February, if you guys might remember that. So I'm just really happy that that is not the case this year. For workouts, I have, you know, we're on a good streak here. Six of the first nine days. Um, my steps goal, I thought 7,000 steps was gonna be a lot harder to reach. I think again, like since having Mia, I'm just like up walking around, taking her out, like on the move so much more than I guess I used to be. The majority of that is coming from the workouts because on the days I didn't work out, as you can see, it's in the like three, four, five thousand 5,000 range. And we've had some days that went way above. This was my day of cleaning the garage. And I closed my activity rings every day, except for the rest days, 15 minutes max morning scroll. This one isn't super accurate at the moment because I adjusted that goal like in the middle of this. That's definitely been a difficult area as well as at night, just like the 15 minutes max before bed. Okay. Wow. We haven't done that like at all. Making my bed. Apparently I've neglected that the past few days. It's been really easy to get outside every morning. Also, thanks to Mia, I've been mostly on my morning skincare. I have not skipped breakfast, except for this one time, which was before I really kicked this off. With that, haven't been having my coffee until after breakfast. I have not been getting ready every single day so far or really doing my 30 minute evening cleanup every day, although I'm about to get to that for tonight. Oh, why didn't I check these off? I've been journaling most nights, gratitude most nights. I did that there too. Okay, I guess I just didn't finish updating this yesterday. This one I realized updating the budget isn't really gonna be an everyday thing. It's gonna be like on days I know I spent money that's maybe like, you know, a posted transaction now then I'll update it. But I have been keeping up with my budget so far for this year. Most nights I've been doing my two hours of no phone at night. Tonight is the first night I'm getting to like that creative unwind activity. So if any of you guys have book recs, I think I need an another good like thriller to get into those are such page turners to me and i thought i would branch out into something else this is like a lesbian little novel i don't know i thought i would just give something else a try but i have not been able to get into this but once i pay for a book i'm gonna read the whole thing so i'm gonna do that tonight since giselle is gone i'm just on the couch and yeah i think i'm changing originally my goal was three nights a week i wanted to do a creative unwind activity but at least for january just since mia you know we're in prime puppy stage even though she is like such a calm like good puppy comparatively she still takes so much attention as i'm sure a lot of you guys imagine both throughout the day but also at night and so i'm just like a lot more tired by the end of the day than i feel like i used to be on an average day so until she requires just like a little bit less attention where i can really focus and enjoy my creative unwind activity i'm just giving myself a goal of one time a week i'm gonna do my skincare tonight but i've been keeping up with that for the most part and then the evening scroll i've been Definitely going over a little bit. Time just flies on TikTok, you know? Checked my work things for this week. My goal of seeing friends once a week. Um, I did do that over the weekend, as you guys saw. And then we did our big organization project of the month. And then that's just kind of where we're at right now. So for some observations and just like this week alone, I have been so enjoying journaling and gratitude already in like a week. Do not underestimate the power of just like a gratitude practice. In just a week, I truly feel like this is like shifted my mindset to be more positive. I think that's an area that I feel really good in is kind of the mindfulness part of like self-care and stuff where I feel like I am putting a focus on that again when like I really never did any kind of thing like this hardly ever in 2023. Fitness and working out and just like overall health. I feel like I'm in a good swing with that. So I guess that's kind of it for my summary. Like I really didn't expect to have all of this 100% like locked in just in the first week. So for like you know, seven days. I'm pretty proud of my progress and I'm still feeling really hopeful and excited for the new year. If you guys like this long vlog, please let me know. I'm not going to drag it out any further, but I'm going to go read my book and then journal, do my gratitude. And that is going to be it for the night. So I hope all of you guys are having a great week. Don't forget to drop one of your goals in the comments below and I will see you in my next video.